Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So today we have week two of the RODL3, and this one is going to be against Frey. So um, this is another opponent I've never faced before. I will link his stuff um, in the uh, video description. I believe he is a uh, he is on Twitch and or YouTube. So when I find that, I'll link that. So. Um, yeah, uh, we're coming in, uh, both of us, into this game as a 1-0, so a pretty important match, actually, for our division, and uh, there you can see what he's bringing uh, slash drafted versus what I'm bringing slash drafted, and honestly, he's bringing pretty much exactly what I thought he was going to bring to this match. Now, I will say his team is probably the strongest, in my opinion, in the entire draft league, uh, if not definitely one of the strongest, just because he has such an insane defensive core, as you can see there. So it's really going to be difficult for me to kind of punch through this. Not entirely sure what I want to lead with, but I think we're going to go ahead and go with the Boltund uh, this time around since not uh, a lot of time to make a decision here um, and then hope that that works out so so uh, yeah definitely uh, kind of nervous with this one um, definitely want to start off strong in the league and um, like I said yeah this guy has a pretty insane team so definitely going to be, be an uphill battle but uh, there he is and he's going to go ahead and lead with the lantern okay so that's actually um, not bad um, I guess as I lead with the boltund so um, this thing definitely could be volt absorb it's uh, got to be either volt or water um, so I guess I could risk finding out uh, whether it's Volts Absorb right away. kind of don't want to do that, but, um, you know, I think I'm going to play it safe to start here, and I'm just going to go for a uh, Life Orb Strong Jaw Max Attack Crunch and see how much that does. He is going to stay in on that, so he's going to take that, and that's going to take him down by three quarters with a critical hit, actually. So um, that did a bunch of damage. I am going to take some Life Orb Recoil as he does Volt Switch on me, so that's going to do not much of anything there. Um, he is going to get the pivot, though, which is pretty important. So um, we'll see what he wants to bring in in return. So. Definitely um, not bad start to the game for me, depending on what he decides to bring in here. But yeah, I do feel like um, his team does match up pretty well against mine on paper, uh, in addition to having such an insane defensive core. So um, we'll see what he wants to do here. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and come in with the Torque Hole, actually. So um, going to go ahead and set the Drought on the battlefield there, turn the Sunlight Harsh. So... Um, so I have a couple of options at this point here. I could, um, Volt Switch myself. He does probably have a couple of immunities, but he's probably not gonna double switch, I wouldn't think, or he wouldn't have brought this thing in. So he may try to set the rocks, which wouldn't be great for me. Um, so I think I am actually going to, uh, just Volt Switch out here, since this thing is probably pretty physically bulky. So I'm going to hit this thing with a Volt Switch and not going to do much damage since I don't have like any special attack investment on this thing. The Volt Switch is just a pivot and so a little bit of chip. So I get the switch here. Not 100% sure what I want to come in with. I'm thinking he's probably not just going to want to outright attack me. So um, I think I actually want to, I think he might want to go for the rocks here. Um, so I think I do want to kind of take, well... Yeah, it's it's kind of a toss up actually to be honest, but you know, I'm really I'm really not sure if I want to do Nine Tails or Gudra cuz Gudra can tank really anything this thing throws at me. Um so, you know, I think I don't want to really make a big risk early with Nine Tails, uh so I think I'm going to well, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and come in with the Gudra here. Um since I should definitely be fit to handle any of this, any attack this thing goes for, and he is just going to go for the stealth rock, so that's a little disappointing. Um, so I am going to have to deal with that now, which is not good. Um, but yeah, so I am actually packing the mud shot, so I don't know if he's going to stay in here. I kind of doubt he will, but 
Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for my mud shot and see if I can catch him off guard for th with that. Um, since I am packing it for this, plus the uh, lantern potentially as well, to try and catch either one of those off guard with that. So um, we'll see what he does. He's going to go for the switch. Hopefully it's not into the Celesteela because that would be bad. And it's going to be into the Clefable, so that's not too bad. Going to mud shot this thing. And uh, not going to do a lot of damage, but it, and that even was a critical hit, actually. But I am going to go ahead and get the speed drop, which is good. And then he is going to uh, regain some HP there with leftovers as well. So, um, I'm not sure what I want to do here, actually. Because this thing, based on that damage, it might be pretty specially defensive. Um... I can stay in here knowing that I can tank a Moonblast uh, from this thing. So I think I'm just going to do that and see if I can see how much damage I can get with a Sludge Bomb here. Um, so I know I'm definitely going to outspeed him. going to hit him with that Sludge Bomb, and that's going to take him down a little below half. And uh, I do get the Poison, actually, so definitely a lot of nice hacks on my side early here. Um, so, yeah, he's going to go for the Wish now, actually, and then uh, he's going to regain some HP with the Leftovers, and then um, he is not going to take the Poison damage, so just confirming that he is Magic Guard. So now I'm kind of in a little bit of a tough spot here because um, he could try to bring the Lantern in for the Wish. Um, he could stay in with the Clefable for the Wish, although he doesn't, from based on that damage, it doesn't look like he can take another Sludge Bomb. So I think um, I'm going to actually just go for the Mud Shot because um, he might just protect here. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to Mud Shot and um, he is just going to protect to ensure the Wish resolves. So I guess I could have gotten a free switch there, but um, yeah, uh, the Mud Shot going to be blocked there. And then that's going to be it for the Sunlight, so that's good. And then um, the Wish is going to resolve and that's going to put him back up to pretty much full health there, which does suck. Um, and then he is going to regain even more HP from the leftovers, which I believe is going to put him yeah, back up to full. So, um, kind of information knowing that he is a uh, wish protect there on the Clefable. Um, so, yeah, not 100% sure what I want to do here. I know based on the damage outputs I'm getting, I don't think I can win a War of Attrition with this thing. Um... So, not 100% sure what I want to do here. I don't have a lot of great answers for this thing. Um, yeah, it's not a great position to be in, honestly. But... He might just go for another wish. I don't know. Um, I think, yeah, I really don't know what I want to do here. Ooh, not much time left. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and switch back into the Bolt Hund here. So that might... i um, not sure what he's going to do, actually, so I'm not 100% sure about this play. Um, I'm going to take the Rocks damage. Maybe he'll just go for another Wish. I don't know. He is just actually going to Moon Blast, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this, actually. And no, I'm not going to be able to take that. That sucks. So um, that's going to get rid of Bolt Hund and drop me down to 5. So yeah, that, that definitely didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, so yeah, not good. Uh so, the only good thing about this is now I am going to be able to come in with a revenge switch. So, I am going to be able to bring in Scissor at this point. Um, so, I am going to take damage from the rocks there. So, um, I could potentially scare him out um, with the prospect of a bullet punch. Um, I don't know. Uh, he could definitely be packing Flamethrower here. Um but not sure. Uh, I do still have that uh, speed drop from the mud shot, so there's that. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the U-turn here, predicting him to not want to stay in here. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, he is indeed going to switch, so that's good. So he's going to come in with, uh, we'll see, so the Celesteela. So this thing is going to take a choice band U-turn. Probably not going to do much since it resists at X4, and indeed, yeah, not going to do too much to that thing. So... Um, that does kind of suck, um, and then, yeah, I am going to get the switch, so, um, not sure what I want to bring in here, because he, the thing about Celesteel could be running any number of potential sets here that could be <laughs> bad news for me, so, um, not 100% sure what I want to do here, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think... I think I'm just gonna have to try and play it safe and come in with the Gudra. Um, since if this thing is hitting on the special side, it's not gonna be able to do too much to me. I am gonna take the rocks there, and then uh, he is going to uh, regain some HP with the leftovers, so... Um, definitely looks like it might be a bulky set here, so... Um, I could, I think I'm just going to make the, the, um, obvious play and go for a flamethrower here, uh, to maybe see what he wants to do. He is just going to protect, actually, to go ahead and scout me, so, um, yeah, that's not great. So, flamethrower, he's going to see that, and then, um, I'm going to go ahead and regain some HP there with the leftovers. That's going to put him right back up to full, so, yeah, definitely not good. Um... So he definitely has quite a few switch options to take a flamethrower, potentially. Well, he has a couple, um, although they are pretty slow. So I think really the best thing I could do is probably just go for the flamethrower again, see if he wants to stay in. Maybe, nope, he's going to want to switch out. So yeah, I'm really trying to just scout what set this is, but it has leftovers, so not much information there. So he's going to go into the Clefable as I'm going to flamethrower this thing. And um, that's going to take him down by about a quarter, so not too much, as he's going to regain some HP there uh, with the leftovers. So, um, yeah, again, not a great position to be in. I think I just kind of have to, at this point, go for a sludge bomb and see what he wants to do. Um, I know he does have the moon blast. He could go for it. He might wish trying to um, potentially... Um, heal something else so we're gonna find out gonna go for the sludge bomb and that is gonna hit him down to about a third hp there as he is gonna moon blast so not good but i am max hp assault vest so i do take that pretty well actually um as he is gonna regain some hp with the leftovers once again so um it's probably gonna be pretty close at that range whether i can take him out with another one or not he's probably well he might just you know, I don't really know what he's going to do, actually. He might just wish, honestly, um, but a sludge bomb could take him out from that range. He might protect to try and um, get another turn of uh, leftovers recovery to hopefully hold, in his mind, hopefully hold out for that survival of the sludge bomb. So, yeah, this is, again, tough decision. I think I just have to make the obvious play in sludge bomb here. And um, he's just going to protect, so that is unfortunate. Um... So uh, the Sludge Bomb not going to hit him there, unfortunately. And then he is going to get that another turn of Leftovers Recovery. So um, he is back up to about half. So at that range, I don't think a Sludge Bomb can take him out, which does suck. Um, but he may actually just end up going for the Wish here, I'm thinking. So um, yeah, the Sludge Bomb definitely not going to be enough to take him out from that range, I don't think. But... You know, I think I'm just going to go for it anyway um, and see what happens. So we'll go for the Sludge Bomb. We do hit that. And is it enough? No, I was right. It is not enough. So he is going to wish, which... So this is just the unfortunate, annoying cycle that we get stuck in with Clefable here with the Wish Protect. Um, leftovers Recovery. And, um, yeah, it's not good. So he is going to probably... Uh, so Protect, I would assume, once again. But the unfortunate thing is... Um, yeah, it's unfortunate because um, hopefully he doesn't read my switch. So I think we're just going to have to hopefully try and switch out and hope that he doesn't read the switch. So, um, yeah. And what, are we, what do we want to come in with? Yeah, I think we want to come in with Scissor. So hopefully he doesn't read the switch here. Um, and then we can get a free switch in the Scissor. So going to do that. And he is going to, we'll see, take the rocks. And he is going to protect, so that's good. So he was just trying to ensure the wish, which indeed it does. The wish does resolve, so that puts him all the way back after the leftovers recovery to almost uh, three-quarters health there. So that is quite unfortunate. Um, so the, the uh, battled stall of the olden days coming back here in this match, unfortunately. Um, so... I'm not 100% sure what I want to do here. I could um, I could just make the obvious play and bullet punch. Um, or I could U-turn out again. So a couple options. Not sure what I want to do. Uh, I think we'll just bullet punch. So And he is going to protect again to 
scout me again, so that is unfortunate. So the bullet punch not going to do anything once again. And then um, he is going to get another round of leftovers recovery off of that, so that is unfortunate. So, yeah, um, yeah. So not sure what I really want to do here. He just continues to stall, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, he's probably not going to want to stay in on this matchup now that he saw the bullet punch. He might be assuming I'm choice item, but I think I might just, eh, I don't know. It's a tough decision. Uh, what would he switch into if he switches the, that's the thing. We don't know. Um, yeah, you know what, I think we'll just go for the bullet punch again, maybe he'll stay in, maybe he'll change it up, and nope, he is not going to change it up, not going to risk it, so he's just going to go ahead and switch right back into that Celestela. So that is unfortunate. So this thing is going to take a bullet punch and not going to do much of anything, of course. So I'm um, going to get more leftovers recovery there. And I still don't know what set this thing is running. So um, definitely not a great place to be. I am choice locked, so I'm definitely going to have to switch out at this point. Um, I think probably the safest play would be to just go into um, the Gudra again. So uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that and see what happens. So he might be packing the fire move, quite possibly. So um, we're gonna go ahead and make the switch. And he's actually gonna double switch me here. Okay, so he's gonna go into the Zygarde. Okay, so that's not great. Um, so he does have Aura Break, of course, and um, of course I am gonna switch and we're gonna come in with the Gudra. So uh, I'm gonna take another round of rocks, which is not good, so that leaves us with about half. So yeah, um, another tough decision, honestly, to make here because um, we could, if we stay in, he's probably gonna get rid of us with pretty much anything he goes for, which is not good. So um, I think we're gonna to wanna to switch out into Trevenant. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, hopefully he's not packing like a fire move or something for this thing. So um, here comes Big Woody and it's going to take the rocks once again. And he has scale shots. So um, that is a multi-strike move three times. Hits me, hit me three times so far. And my citrus is going to pop to put me back up a little bit. And yep, so that's all there is for the three. And then that's going to drop his defense and uh, increase his speed. Harvest is going to trip, though, to give me my berry back. So that's good. Um, so, okay. So what do I want to do here? I think um, I, think I actually want to try and get my sub set up. So that's what I'm going to go for. So hopefully he might just switch out based on the, the damage output that he saw. And indeed he is going to go for the switch, so that's good. And he's going to switch back into the uh, Celesteela. So that's not great as I am going to sub though, so that's good. And then that is going to pop my Citrus Berry again, which is also good. So I'm going to get that uh, HP recovery there, which is nice. And then set that Substitute, which is nice. Uh, he is going to regain some HP with the leftovers, which is obviously not nice for me. So um, I think I'm gonna, yep, and time is running out as well, so that's not good. So uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the Leech Seed, because um, at this point the match is not gonna end anyway. He's gonna go for a Flamethrower, so looks like he might indeed be a special set, so he's gonna hit me with that, and that is going to um, break my Substitute, and then um, I'm going to go for the Seed, and thankfully I don't miss. That would have been pretty devastating, so going to get that set up, and then um, he is going to regain more HP with the Leftovers, and then he's going to lose some HP to my Leech Seed, which is nice, so I'm going to get that back, and that is going to put me back up to a decent range. Uh, going to have to switch, though. And I think we're going to go ahead and switch back into the Gudra here. Um, since he did reveal it looks like he's a special set. So I'm going to switch back into the Gudra. And um, take the rocks again, which sucks as he's going to go for a flash cannon. Um, anticipating the switch. So that is going to not do a ton of damage. 
uh, which is good. He is going to regain some HP there with the leftovers again, which just eats up more time, unfortunately. I am going to get the uh, leech seed uh, to give me some HP back, which is nice. So uh, I think I just have to make the obvious play here and go for the flamethrower. We're going to try and squeeze as many more turns into this as possible um, before time runs out, although it doesn't look like... Um, Maybe he's in any hurry to do that since he is up one. So, uh, no, he is going to go for the switch here, and he's going to come in with the um, Clefable once again. I, maybe I could have read that, but I'm going to hit him with a Flamethrower. And that is going to put him down uh, to a little above half as he is going to uh, get that leftovers recovery again. So, um I think at this point we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and switch. Mm. We still don't know the fourth move on the Clefable, which is not good. Um, but you know what? I think we'll stay in and go for the Sludge Bomb. Maybe we'll get a crit. Who knows? Um, so we're gonna Sludge Bomb and we're gonna get that off and knocks him into the red, but he survives, of course. Gonna Moon Blast me. And um, that is going to knock me down to 22, but we do survive in the red. And then um, more HP with the leftovers once again on his side. And so, yeah, the match is pretty much over at this point, unfortunately. So I'm um, just going to go for another Sludge Bomb. He's probably just going to protect to waste the turn, and indeed he does. So that's unfortunate. So, yep, there you have it. Stall, ladies and gentlemen. Stall. Gotta love it. So, um, I don't think we're gonna get another turn here, actually. But just gonna click Sludge Bomb again. And, yeah, because the timer ran out. And, nope, we're not. So, yeah, there you have it. So... There you go. We're going to uh, lose on uh, six to five. We're going to lose that one against Frey. So uh, that's unfortunate. So pretty close match there. And um, yeah, just kind of uh, fell victim to an endless loop of stall there with the Clefable and the Celesteela. Just yeah, so uh, it kind of is what it is. So. Um, it is a loss, but it's not a really crippling or bad loss in the sense that we only lost by one. So um, we are going to drop to a one in one record here. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's going to put us on even footing. And yeah, like I said, it kind of is what it is. Stall just kind of is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.